days, 12 us kids, and Ma and Pa, we lived in the hills of Arkansas. And in them days, there wasn't much money for what you did. Ma didn't have enough plates for us all, but we managed to eat when we heard her call me. I ate gravy on a bucket lid. I'll never forget when I was about eight. Paul came home, I had supper pretty late. He said, you know, in these hills we're just plain here. Now in the morning, we go into town, and I'm going to show you kids around. I said, Paul, pour some old gravy on my bucket lid. I love that gravy on a bucket lid. With the big brown biscuit I could stop. Ain't nothing like that gravy on a bucket lid Just pour the gravy, I'll say when to stop Oh, howdy folks, I'm Bob the Hardware Man. We are in beautiful downtown Reed Spring, Missouri. Right smack dab in the middle of the Ozark Mountain. You see, I own the hardware store right behind me here, and right across the street, there's a place called the Bucket Lid Cafe. Now it's owned and operated by a good old boy named Chester Drove. And it's the only place in the world where you can eat off a bucket lid. And I'm telling you, it's an unusual place with some of the most unusual characters you've ever seen in your life. And I'm heading over there right now to have a little breakfast, thought I'd get a little uh, biscuits and gravy. If you're not busy, well, Come on over with me, because I'll guarantee you you're in for a real experience. Hey, Willie. Hey, good morning, Bob. Sit down. I saved a spot for you there. Yeah, I'll see you then. What you know? Well, hey, I was reading in the paper here some historical facts. Uh, did you know the bathtub was invented in 1850? 1850? No, I didn't know that. And another thing, Bob, did you know that the telephone was invented in 1875? 1875. I, I didn't know that either. You know what that means, Bob? I don't know what. That means a fella could sit in a bathtub for 25 years and never be interrupted by a phone call. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a good one there. Yeah, I just made that one up. <laughs> sure, I tell you. You're not catching any dogs this morning? No, I ain't catching any this morning, but listen, I caught one yesterday. You did? I caught our old dog Spot. Caught your own dog, huh? Yeah, and you know, this is tick and flea season. Oh, I know they're everywhere. I sent my wife, Betty May, make it over to your hardware store to get some tick and flea dip. Yeah. She got spot remover instead of tick and flea dip. Spot remover? Yeah. Funny thing, Bob, we dipped old spot in that spot remover. Yeah, we can hear him. Out. Yeah, we can hear him barking now, but we can't see him. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Bob. Hi, oh, <laughs> Willie. Hey. How you boys stacking up this morning? Uh, I'm just wearing out a good hide. Yeah. How you doing? Oh, best you ever saw. Yeah. Yeah. I tell you, I just got back from the drugstore. Drugstore? Yeah, I walked in there. I asked this druggist, I said, you got anything for the hiccups? You know what he did? What? Reached down there, got an old wet dish rag, slapped me across the face a couple of times with it. He said, you still got the hiccups? I said it never did happen. It's my wife out there in the car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I figured you like that, and Bob. Oh boy. Oh, I'm excited today, boys. You are? Oh, we got a big plan, big surprise coming up here in a little bit when we get it all figured out back really? here. Yeah. What is it, Captain? Well, you just have to wait and see. I tell you what, uh, Bob, have you got uh, any post hole diggers over at the Hardware? Uh, I've got three or four left over there. Good. How about chicken wire? Oh, I've got plenty of chicken wire. Good. See, what I'm going to do, I'm going to build a big old chicken pen back right Well, here. look here, if it ain't old stuff, matter. Man, I'd rather see a hog in my garden. That's not very nice. Stubb is my friend. He's my friend, too. You sit right here, Stubb, and don't get too close to that mean old man over there. If he gives you any trouble, you let us know, okay? That's right. All right. That's hey, real. would you like some sugar? Oh, yeah. A double portion, please. Of course. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, don't you worry. We're going to get your breakfast right out because mm -hmm. important people shouldn't have to wait. They should be served pronto. That's, That's right. right. Hey, morning. Morning, Bob, Willie. I've, I've got to go to the bathroom. I'll okay. Right. All right. Hey, Bob, I just drove by your house a while ago. Guess what I saw? I don't know what. <laughs> a hog in your garden. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> hey, Stubb, do you like riddles? Oh, yeah, I love riddles. Oh, yeah. man, I heard a good riddle. I don't know if you can get it or not, but it's a tough one. I'm pretty good at it. All right, well, you got to listen to this now. Yeah. I can't think about it. All Here right. we go. It's not my sister, it's not my brother, yet it's a child of my father and my mother. Who is it? Your grandpa. No, it's not grandpa. <laughs> no? No, I'll ask you again. Okay. I'm it's not go. my sister, it's not my brother, yet it's a child of my father and my mother. Who is it? Your great great grandpa. No, it's not your grandpa. No, you're not even trying. You're well, not thinking about it. I, I, I'm okay. going to ask you one more time. If you don't get it this time, I'm going to have to tell you. Tell okay? it slow. So it's I'm not my sister, it's not my brother. Yet it's a child of my father and my mother. Who is it? Boy, that's a tough one now. You're not going to get it, are you? I'm going to have to tell you. You'll have to tell me. All right, it's me. It's you? It's me. It's you? It's me, yeah. Yeah. That's a good riddle, I got that. Boy, I'd like to pull that on somebody. Well, you can pull it on somebody. Yeah, I'd like to. That's a good riddle, though. Oh, hey, Bob, Bob. There's Willie. I'll pull oh, it on right, him. That's good. Put uh, it on him. He's yeah. good in the bathroom. Yeah, he's been no, he in the here. bathroom. Hey, Willie! Willie! Hey! Over here. Yeah. Uh, you like riddles? Yeah, I love riddles. Yeah. Well, I've got one now. You'll have to pay attention. Because okay. I almost missed it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, it, it, it's not my grandpa. It's not my grandma. My uncle Mary. No, 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 no. no. You got no wrong. <laughs> It's not my sister, it's not my brother, it's his child, and my father and my mother. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not my dad, it's not my sister, it's not my mother, but it's some other old blister. No! Who does it? No, you missed it. It's not my sister, it's not my brother, yet it's a child and my father and my mother. That's how it goes. Yeah. It's not my... Sister. Father, sister. Yeah. It's not my sister, it's not my brother, but it's a child of my father and my mother. That's right. Who done it? No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. It's not my sister. Sister, it's not my brother, yeah. but it's a child of my father and my mother. Who is it? <laughs> well, that's easy stuff. Yeah. That's you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, stupid, it's Bob. He's been Bob all day. Hey, Bob. Bob, come over here, man. I uh, got got a business transaction. I hate to bother you there. Uh, oh, what is it? Got a business transaction going. <laughs> oh yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's a fellow over there wants a gallon of brown paint. I can't find it. Well, it's right there where the paint is on the second shelf. The brown's on the second I'll shelf. I left there. I can't find it. It's got to be there. The white paint's on the bottom shelf. Brown is on the middle, and the green and yellow and all the pastels are on top. Brown is in the middle on the second shelf. Second shelf. Second shelf. Yeah. Okay. You got that? Oh yeah, 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 right. yeah. I'm not an idiot. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, I see it brown. B, I see it be brown. Uh, of course, it's under B. It could be burgundy. <laughs> could be blue. I don't know. Really. Could be black. I don't know. Oh my goodness! What color paint was it? I was on? Brown, like a cow. All right. All right. <laughs> Face I see. Ain't nobody's butt. <laughs> Sit down, Tell us a big story. What's going on? Well, tell you what, Bob, ain't a whole lot going on this morning. Hey, you needed to come over to the bank this morning. What happened to you? It's a holiday. I've been there. I've been there. I'll be over in the morning. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Make sure you do. Oh yeah. Yeah, I will. <laughs> 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 Second shelf. <laughs> exactly where <laughs> I told you to find it on the second shelf. You did, shelf. you did, yeah. And you 
pounds. And I think the guy's gonna buy it, but he wants me to shake it. <laughs> wants you to shake it? Yeah. Well, go ahead and shake it for me. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't know it. That is a tough job. I'm tough job. I don't know. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't mean to shake it like that. Put it on the shaker. We got a shaker? We got a shaker. Paint it. Oh, yeah. Where's the shaker? It's over by the door. But, oh, okay. Well, that won't be easy to find. Yeah, it's over by the door. What's the front door? Could be the screen door. I don't know. We got five different doors in the place. Good grief. Who in the world was that? Oh, uh, that's. Bob's new helper, Goofer. I'm telling you right now, he's three french fries short of a happy meal. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no doubt about that. Hey, Chester, could you come over here a minute? Yeah, yeah what do you need, Willie? Hey, I thought I'd better let you know I'm gonna bring my family in for supper tonight. Sure enough. Yeah. Hey, I like that. And they like chicken now. Yeah, well, good. And they really like that fried chicken. Well, we can take care of that, Willie. I'll tell you, uh, fried chicken. Hey. How many of you gonna be here? Well, let's see. They'd be probably about 14 of us all together. 14. <laughs> hey, you know how I prepare my chicken? No, I don't reckon I do. Well, I just do. I hey, do. hey, hey, wait just a minute, Willie. Hey, Joanna. Yeah. Come here just a minute. Sure. Bring your paper and your pen. Okay. Willie, Willie's going to tell us how he prepares his chicken. Might oh. be a new recipe. Here we go. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay, yeah. I'm ready. Yeah. Are you ready? Uh-huh. Okay, make sure you get it right. Now. All right, well, how Willie prepares. I just lean over and whisper in her ear, you better get ready. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Willie, you got us on that. <laughs> oh, boy, let's see. There going to be 14 of you coming. I reckon that means we're going to need about three chickens. Ah, uh, that probably do it. Yeah, well, yeah. this is a big minute I was talking about there a while ago. There's a big surprise oh, right yeah? here. Yes, sir. -y. I want you to watch this. Oh, what is it? Gina, bring them in. Ta-da! Chickens on the car. <laughs> what do you think of that? <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, down there at Branson, they've got that cafe where you can go in there and order your own giant crawdad. No, no lobster. 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 Oh, yeah, something like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you just pick out the one you want, and they'll cook it for you right there on the yeah. spot. Same thing right here. Come in here and pick out your own chicken. <laughs> and then our cook is going to be. And then that try come in. Chicken. Because I'm the cook. <laughs> you see, whatever chicken you pick out, I take it out back, I wring its neck. <laughs> and I dip it in scalding hot water, rip all the feathers off. Then I gut it out. <laughs> then I cut it up. Then I cook it. Have it out for you. 38 and a half minutes. Now, the certainty job, buddy. But that's not all. Wow. If you want to come out and watch the whole operation, just a dollar more. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Only place in the world where you can pick out your own chicken. That's right. <laughs> well, you pick you out three of them. We'll get them ready for you. Well, let's see here now. Ah, them two on the bottom. Yeah, right. those are the good ones. Yeah. Let's see these. Oh, I think I want this big in here on top. Uh, could I get a closer look at him? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. way I can get him out of there and look at him? Yeah, just unhook it there. Okay. Just got there, yeah. Uh, yeah reach in there and get him. Oh! 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 Oh, boys, 
Now, now before I go, I've got some mail it for y'all. Let's see. Oh, no, no, no. oh Bob's Hardware. There's a Bobby oh, right there. I was looking for that. Yeah, well, of course you was there, son. And it's my job to do. stub, stub that. There you go, stubby. You got mail. <laughs> Just like the computer. <laughs> and, uh, ben. Hey, Ben. How you been, Ben? I've been, been, been good. Yeah, good, good, good. There you go. Mail, mail, mail. Thank you. Oh, boys, I wish I could stay, but i got things to do here, you know. Now, Chester, I just think the world of you. Well, thank you very much. Of course, you know what shape the world's in today. <laughs> See, boys! I'm going to be one of the kind. Oh, yeah. Dub, do you have something in your eye? I'll read your letter for you. Dear Stub. You owe me $24.67 for the chainsaw, for the chain you bought six months ago for your chainsaw. And that ain't all. How about the sledgehammer and wedges you never paid for? I'm tired of waiting. But this is the third reminder, and it's from Bob's Hardware. Bob, did you write that? I just mailed it three minutes ago. Wait. Three minutes ago, I got a letter here. Who's this from? Stubbs' wife, Bob. I'm getting tired of you as done and stuff for that junk you sold him. I cut one rick of wood and that chain was worn out. I am M.A.D. mad. I will be in next week and settle this one for good. Oh, boy. <laughs> Dear Chester. Well, it's not my mail. Chester, this is your letter. Oh, that's all right. Go ahead and read it. Chester, since you and the banker are good friends, well, you put in a good word for me to that idiot. Tell him I will pay. I wish he'd jump in the lake. Will he make it? Let <laughs> <laughs> hey, me say that. Wait here, just a chicken pecking minute. There's got to be a mistake. Somebody has forged my name. <laughs> It's for everybody. You get one. And you get one. And you get one. Could I have one, baby? Thank you. Yes, you get one. Oh, thank you. Thank you, buddy. You get one. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Hold, hold it. What? I just got one biscuit and they gave you three biscuits. Now, how'd that happen? I just got two biscuits. No, you got three. I just got one. You got three. Bob. Well, can you count them then? Go ahead and count them. One biscuit, two biscuits. And two and one is what? Three? See, there you got three biscuits. I got one. You got three. Oh, that ain't right. You like you best, I guess. Bob, Bob. I got two biscuits. That's all I got. You got three biscuits. Two and one is what? Three? See, there you go. You got three. Uh, Bob knows what he's talking about, and I do too. I've dealt with figures all my life. Ben, huh? look, you, you're good at money and percentage and stuff you charge them. Pay. I've eaten biscuits all my life, and I've only got two biscuits. You have got three biscuits. Count them one more time. One biscuit, two biscuits. And two and one is what? Three. See, there you got three <laughs> I don't want any of them. I'll give mine to Willie there. I, I ain't wait a minute, wait a minute. What? Where's my biscuit? Bob, you can have that third biscuit. <laughs> Folks, that's Mortimer Evergreen, the town undertaker. He's never been quite right ever since he turned over that hearse. That's what caused him to have those fits. There's Mort. I gotta go. Here, Mort, you can have my chair. <laughs> Hold her up. Hold her up. Here we go. There you are, man. Oh, there you are. Oh, oh, what a good here. breakfast right oh, there. Oh, what is going on? Here, I ordered my breakfast a long time ago. <laughs> hey, Bob, I just told you there it is. Oh, look at that. Damn, fine. But now take it easy. Right. Watch that egg. The girls were playing with it out back. Oh, oh, oh. Hold up the key. Hey, Mort. Hey, what you want, Mort? Hey, Mort. Uh oh, that means number three, Gina. How do you want your eggs? 
That's over easy. <laughs> and what do you want to drink? Oh, I got that one. He wants milk. Good. Got it. Hey, Bob. Hey, Bob. Hey, hey, hey listen. Hey, Bob. 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 Hey, you're not gonna believe this. This great big tall stupid guy just came in the store over there wants to buy a ga half a gallon of this paint. Now you know we sell it to the gallon, not the half gallon, but this stupid moron, <laughs> big tall guy, he wants to buy just a half a gallon. <laughs> and, uh, and this fine gentleman here wants to buy the other half. <laughs> <laughs> What's the funny, man? <laughs> I just thought of a good joke, Willie. Well, okay, I love it. You can laugh too. Okay. You know Clifford Moore, don't you? Yeah, I know Clifford. <laughs> well, you know where he lives, too? Yeah. Okay. Well, I was going by his place the other day. <laughs> he was out there in his garden. Yeah. And he was pulling by Dale Young. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> And he was putting eight to a bunch, you know, a bunch of onions, like, yeah. well, he wound up with nine bunches. <laughs> and he come up with an extra onion. <laughs> you know what he did with that extra onion? <laughs> oh, He's got a big bluff out there behind the barn, you know that. <laughs> he walked out there with that bluff. <laughs> He don't get up yet. <laughs> and he threw that thing in for he can throw it. <laughs> I don't think I got that, did you guys? I know I didn't get it. Did you get it, more? Nah, he didn't get it. <laughs>
<laughs> Hello? Bucket Lid Cafe, Danny, uh, speaking. Uh, yeah, yeah, we will, uh, yeah, right, you have to give us a minute. I'll tell him, uh, but you'll have to give us a minute, okay? All right. Uh, Chester? Yeah. Uh, that was, uh, uh Ada Mae Wheeler. Yeah. She wants somebody to come pick her up for oh. breakfast. Oh, that's good. We don't want to lose that old woman. She's got a lot of money. You oh, know. yeah, we need her. Uh, yeah. Well. But she wants Mort to pick her up. Well, tell Mort to pick her up. Hey, Mort! Uh, could you pick up Ada Mae Wheeler and bring her to breakfast? <laughs> oh, please, please! <laughs> this big yellow cat tree in the big sycamore there behind Bob's hardware. I ain't having no rabies shots and I ain't gonna mess with them. Oh boy, I'm gonna need all the help I can get from everybody. And Ben, yeah. if that yellow cat's got that Valdelia onion in his mouth, he's all yours, buddy. Onion, <laughs> cat, and the whole shebang. <laughs> Come on, let's go get him. Right. Hey guys, hey, what about me? Hey, uh, wait, a little help here. Hey, you're not leaving, are you? Oh, oh hey, you are coming you back? They will be back, I'm sure. I'm sure. Uh. us kids, Ma and Pa, we lived in the hills of Arkansas, and in them days there wasn't much money for what you did. Ma didn't have enough plates for us all, but we managed to eat when we heard her call me. I ate gravy on a bucket lid. I'll never forget when I was about eight, Pa came home and had supper pretty late. He said, you know, in these hills we're just plain here. Bucket lid. With the big brown biscuit, I can suck. You, this is gonna, this is gonna be big. I like these big old parades. I'll tell you what. I'll bet you people be coming into the, <laughs> the bucket lid cafe. And well, now town right at noon looked around and then pretty soon, Paul said, "Now we'll go to this cafe and eat." Why, we'd never seen such a place before.
They have been playing here. Enjoyed it. Enjoyed it. That was really good. That was really good. Enjoy it. I did my best there. Great sermon. Great sermon. Thank you. You come back next. Boy, that is a good lesson. Enjoy it. 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 Enjoy it.